Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's keeping very well. It's been a really long time since I last did a video, but I thought that I would try to jump back into the whole YouTube video things and this time have maybe a better go at it. Um, I'm starting off again with another salon tour. This time it's an updated version of my salon. Um, I have rearranged some things, changed a few things, updated a few things. And so hopefully if you've watched the first video, you'll notice the differences. But um, the irony is, is that I think the very first video I did was last year on the first day of spring. This time I'm doing it on the first day of winter. So it's pretty freaking cold. And um, yeah, let's hope that you, if you've watched the first video, um, you'll notice the differences. Um, I'm forever changing things. So um, to me, I don't know if I notice everything that's changing all the time, but there are differences, I promise you. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Okay, so as you come in, you'll see um, there I've got the doors that um, you would enter into my house from. And then on the right side, I've just got um, a couch. So if you bring somebody with you, um, they can just sit on the couch over there and wait for you. And they can read some magazines. Then I've just got a shelf here that's got some little decor on it and then I've got um, this little um, I don't know what you want to call it um, shelf thing over here and it's just got my um, essential oils for aromatherapy so that's how I store my essential oils um, it's labeled really well and then I've got this it's also it looks like a book but it's actually empty so you can store things in it and that's got my carrier oils in it and then I've just got my essential oil burners some candle holders and then over here I've just got my um, okay there's just some tie backs for my curtains it's just got some nail display holders and if you come into the salon and you don't have a clue what you want to do I've got some nail art to look at that I've done um, some air fresheners and then these are um, some scented fragrances that you put into my water air purifier so not only does it purify the air but it also makes the place smell really nice and then at the bottom I've just got study guides and books and then above that I've just got my certificates And then over here, I've just got my little tea and coffee corner, I guess. So that light um, goes on and off. And then I've just got um, tea and coffee, cappuccinos. And then I've just got some, I've got those mugs, but I've also got these um, takeaway cups, paper cups. So that you can take your cup if you don't, especially during um, COVID so um, you don't have to use um, my own mugs if you don't want to um, and then over here this is my um, <laughs> fluffy box that houses all my um, things to remove um, my uh, false nails so that's just the little um, electric uh, gel removing um, soak off machine and then um, these are for um, removing acrylic nails, so acrylic soak off tubs. And then um, over here, I've just got my tub filled with um, already pre cut uh, nail foils to wrap around the nails to uh, wrap your cotton wool around the nails when you're going to soak them off. Okay, and then I've just got my little fridge over there that is for um, cold water, cold milk for tea and coffee and some fruit juice and stuff like that for clients. There is my water air purifier. Um, over there I've just got these little gift bags. Um, they are for first time clients so they come with my business card and a little jar of um, cuticle oil and some instructions on how to maintain um, your nail extensions, your nail enhancements to make them last as long as you can. 
then I've just got um, this uh, practice hand which um, I ordered and when I ordered it it was supposed to be one of those beautiful soft latex hands um, that were realistic um, and soft and beautiful to work with but came here and it's as hard as a rock it's horrible to work with um, so it now just holds um, my rings that I use when I take photographs um, I hate this hand um, and then I've got these um, swatch sticks which is just holding my different um, acrylics gels and so forth and then these are the jelly gels that I made myself um, I made it with um, glass paint and um, hard gel so they came out quite cute actually they work really nicely so yeah those are just my swatch sticks okay and then over here i've just got my uv sterilizing um, towel warmer um it's also a uv sterilizer but uh it's a towel warmer that i use for reflexology and um also manis and pedis so you put your towels in when they're wet and they come out beautiful and hot and then um they're very nice for um like i said reflexology and manis and pedis a work beautifully if you wrap it around um, someone's hands and feet when they've got moisturizer on um, their hands and feet come up beautifully moisturized <coughs> excuse me just need to move this chair and then on this side i've got my uh, liquid sterilizer so um, barbicide or whatever sterilizer you use to clean your implements um, and then just my little um, display to say that i take uh, cards there I've got my UV sterilizer and then on this side I've just got my business cards and um, my Wi-Fi password for clients who want to use the Wi-Fi. Um, just some breath mints and over here I've just got a little jar for clients to put their jewellery in during the service. And I've got my um, price list for light bulbs, um, MP3 players, Fitbit chargers, um, power bank cords, uh, phone chargers, hard drive cords, everything that you can think of that is a charger of some sort. Um, so yeah, and every one of these boxes <laughs> used to house um, migraine medication. So if that doesn't tell you how bad I suffer from migraines, then I don't know what does. Um, I suffer with migraines in the worst way. So yeah, so batteries and earphones and selfie sticks everything in here is like electrical okay and then in this drawer i've just got my laminator my money box my um cash receipt book um, my first aid box and my laminating sheets in this one i just have foils lots and lots of foils so this whole box just contains extra foils Lots of extra foils. Um, okay, and then I've got my, oopsie, sculpting forms. I've got extra sculpting forms on this side. And then this has got tea light candles in it, um, which I won't show you because it's just tea light candles. Okay, in this one I've got, um, I wouldn't say it's a junk drawer, but it's just got stuff that I don't really use hardly ever so <clears> oh <throat> i've got a extra armrest um spare uv gloves for the lights um a spare photo album some extra photo frames and yeah it's just stuff <laughs> and then this one has got um oh those extra things if you um happen to god willing you don't but um on the odd occasion that your lamp um doesn't work or your e-file breaks or something um these are extra of those so extra led lamps um an extra e-file um the foot pedals that came with my e-files which i never never use so yeah these are just those things 
heaven forbid something has to happen to the ones I'm currently using. And then over here I've just got some extra petty slippers. Um, these are just the things um, that I use to make my um, little gift bags. So there's little gift bags and uh, yeah, there's little um, booklets for maintenance and so forth. And then I've got stickers. All my extra stickers are in here. And then at the bottom I've got ooh, lots of extra sundries. So all my um, disposable masks, um, latex gloves. Um, these are puppy pads which um, I find insanely um, useful to work with on a desk. Um, if you fold one out on your desk um, to work um, on, it's really useful because they fold out really big and um, you can wipe your brush on it to clean off excess acrylic or gels or um, polish or whatever it is. Um, they catch all the glitter um, or whatever it is you're working with. Um, they're super absorbent. Um, you can fold it in half or um, three quarters or whatever it is and it's just it really it's huge and it works really nicely so um, they come in very handy to work with on your desk and then I've just got extra essential oils over there and then um, these packs of um, extra packs of tissues but these rolls or these tubes that your tissues come in I keep them and I pack my um, roll of uh, bin liners in here because they are perforated so if you put your roll of bin liners in here and you just pull it through then um, it's a cute little bin liner holder so they're also useful for that okay and then the next one I have everything <laughs> More sundries, so it's all um, cotton swabs, cotton wool, lint-free wipes, um, finger cuts, uh, yeah, just that kind of stuff. Not exciting. And the one there is even less exciting because that is paper towels and a feather duster. <laughs> okay, and then I have my fan, my aircon, and some masks and aprons on that side. Um, over here I've just got my thermometer and my hand sanitizer for when clients come in. Um, I've just got um, a couple more decor on the top here. These are my extra business cards that I store in there. And then I've just got um, information brochures and booklets on products that I use in the salon in case clients would like to know more about what I'm using. Um, Okay, and then in these um, cupboards over here, it's pretty much also just storage again. So in the top here, I've just got um, nail tips. Um, as you can see, there are colored nail tips for days. Um, but when I started out, these were very popular. Um, and then colored acrylic became very popular and these became unpopular. So... I don't throw anything away, I hang on to everything and that's why I still have them. Um, the only thing that really um, gets used on a regular, well not regular basis, but at least once a year is the gold, silver and um, shimmery type tips. And then once in a while toe tips, otherwise it's normally acrylic overlays on the toes. Um, but I've also got my regularly used tips in here, um, backups. That I kept in here. So these are all tips. Um, in the next drawer, oh, shit, let me just take this off. I've got um, all my brushes. These are all extras, um, by the way. So these are all um, unused things. Um, so I've got all my striping brushes, art brushes, um, gel and acrylic brushes, um, orange wood sticks. Um, Tip cutters, cleanup brushes, um, nail clippers, uh, and some duster brushes over here. Okay, and then in the next drawer, I've got um, 
extra of the most um, popular um, gel polish that I use. Um, I've got some pots of uh, thick gel or hard gel. Um, these I mostly got um, when I did my nail courses and um, I don't really like them. Um, but like I said, I don't throw anything away. Um, so these are pots of acrylic and hard gels and stuff that I got doing courses and I've hung on to them, but I am not a fan. Um, this is just, like I said, I don't like to call things junk. It's just stuff. Stuff that is there. I don't know. Stuff that I've gathered over time and I don't really know what to do with most of it. Um, except that that's a, an exacto knife and a, my little sieve that I use when I make my own acrylics. And then these are um, treatments. So if somebody comes in with some kind of nail um, related issue, then um, these are treatments for nail problems. Okay, and then these are all my um, new nail files, new buffers, um, shiners, stuff like that. So that's where I store those. And then obviously those I got as well when I took my courses. Um, those funny little plastic um, dappen dishes that you get. Um, I don't know, when you do your course you get a bunch of, you get a kit and um, you get all these weird things with it. The cheap weird things. Um, so yeah, I got those. And like I said, I don't throw things away. So I still have those. And then at the bottom, I just have um, glitters. Um, all of those have been um, decanted into smaller um, little containers that I uh, would be showing to clients um, that are just a uh, much prettier, I have a, a nicer way of showing it to clients. So these are the, the larger the bulk packs of it. And then just some scented draw liners. Okay, and then in here, um, it's also just bulk stuff. So everything in here has also been decanted into Mender pumps and other smaller little bottles that I keep next to me at my desk. Um, except for that, that's um, my um, wax for my wax machine. Um, and then I've got um, all my bigger containers of monomer, acetone, um, gel remover, um, nail swipe. Um, uh, sure, yeah, all of the different liquids that you're going to use, basically. Um, and then just some extra like cuticle removers and primers, bonders, that kind of thing. Um, cuticle oils, um, isopropyl alcohols, rubbing alcohols, um, yeah, all the different sanitizers, dettols, everything that you can think of is in there. And then at the bottom is just um, sugar scrubs, um, moisturizers, bubble baths, um, and that kind of thing. So, and you'll see that I have these um, all over the salon in the desks and the drawers. Um, these are um, anti uh, dehumidifiers um, to absorb all the moisture that I get in my cupboards because I live at the coast and these things are a, a lifesaver. Okay, so moving on to this side. Um, this is just my process for um, reflexology and uh, pedicures and stuff. Um, that is just my reflexology chart. And then this is my pedi station. So at the petty station, I have got um, all my different um, mender pumps with the liquids in them. So everything that you're going to use um, during a petty or a reflexology session this year. Um, and your tiling rolls, your different cotton roll balls, cotton swabs, um, lint-free wipes, um, earbuds, toothpicks, and then a little bin and my LED lamp. And then in the drawer, I've got um, top gels, 
uh, top coats, base coats, um, some cuticle remover, and then these are already pre-mixed um, aromatherapy oils that you use to rub on people's feet. Um, I also use these inside my um, foot spa baths, um, like an essential oil, so they work for that as well. Um, and they work quite nicely. Okay, and then oop, in this one I have a um, moisturizer and some petty slippers. In this one I've got some um, sugar scrub and some bubble bath that goes in my um, foot spa. And then at the bottom, um, I keep these little yellow sponges um, that each client will get a sponge when they get their feet done and some sugar scrub. Okay, let's start maybe at the bottom here. I've just got petty slippers at the bottom. And then I've got um, heel buffers. So um, also, okay, like I said, I don't get rid of anything. So I've got these from um, school. Um, I know that you can replace these um, pads on here, but I I don't like these things. I've kept them for whatever purpose, but um, I don't like to use these. They are... Uh, a lot of work, a lot more work than using the electric files. They, these pads don't last as long, they're flimsy, they also pop off too easily. Um, I just don't like them. So I use um, these electric um, heel buffers and then my client will get um, a little roller and um, I'll use the roller on their feet when they come in and the roller lasts a really long time. Um, and the roller will go into a baggie with their name on it and when they come back they'll use the roller until um, they need a new one so that's how um, I do my clients uh, pedis and then this is just um, my um, as opposed to just uh, throwing it away so these are just files, buffers, nail clippers and so on and then in the top is just latex gloves, um, some more moisturizer, and my little, some Thai reflexology sticks. There's three of them somewhere in here. So Thai, Thai reflexology sticks, and so on and so forth. Okay. And then, if you look that side, that is my petty reflex bed. Um, it does... Um, sit up as well as recline so um, you can do it either way it sits up for the petty spa bath and then reclines for um, reflexology and then I've got this basket here it's got linens um, blankets etc in it um, and then I've got some nice fluffy blankets um, when I do when I do reflexology um, here is just uh, the probably the first thing you you go to in the mornings when you walk in it's just my daily planner and my bible and um just some daily books that you will come to in the morning i guess the first thing you're gonna come and grab to plan your day and then i've got my um colored acrylics that i keep over here um most of them are self-made and some are bought as is um and then they all labeled, um, well, everything's labeled the same way in the salon. So um, these are all my colored acrylics. That's just sort of display. That is my nail polish rack over there. Um, that is basically my office. <laughs> Everything office related, um, apart from one box down here, is um, in there. So that's my printer, and then I've got everything stationary, um, study guides, 
um, yeah, everything you can think of that would be in the office is in those drawers over there. Okay, let me see if I can show you inside here. I'll try to do this one-handed, but I don't know how good it's going to be, but let's try. Okay, so in here I've got um, all my glass and acrylic paints in those boxes. And there I've got my silicone mat, um, alcohol, disinfectant surface spray, disinfectant wipes. Um, I've got these drawers over here that just houses um, some personal items in here, so hair bands, um, lip gloss and lip ice, and lipstick, Dio, uh, breath freshener, or chewing gum, uh, some Vaseline for the lips this winters, and um, yeah, it's just personal stuff, I guess, glasses and stuff like that. Um, in the next drawer, I've got um, what you call um, liquid latex, I guess. Um, we over here is known as liquid palisade, I don't know why, but yeah, it's actually liquid latex. Um, and this, I do not understand why they call a nail protector. Um, it should actually be called a finger protector because you are working on the nail and protecting the finger, but there you go. We understand. <laughs> and then this is just uh, foil glue. And then at the bottom here, I've got my arbor bands. So all the different um, arbor bands and some painting trays and my cling wrap for art. Okay, so also here, um, I keep my um, magnets for my cat eye gel, and um, this is how I um, display my um, glitter. So when a client comes in and they want some kind of glitter, this is where um, I keep my glitter. So they in these boxes, and then um, they've got their the labels on so that's easy for me to find the colors that I'm looking for and then the boxes look like this they are gloss tops and then on the inside um, there's just these um, little containers with the glitter in so that they're easy for me to to see and for the client to see um, so that's how I store the glitters so they decanted from those packets and larger containers into these little ones. And it's just nicer for the client to have a look at. So that is how I store all the glitters that I have. So that's how all the glitters are stored. Okay, and then in the top here, I have got, like I said, I'm gonna to try to do this with one hand. Um, I've got in here is nail foils. So it's in an album, um, which makes it easier for um, the client to um, have a look at um, all the different foils separated like so. Okay. Then in this one, I have got, let me get close and I can just plop it on my leg. Okay, everything that you can think of um, to put on a nail and to encapsulate or that kind of thing. So, hmm, Swarovski stones, um, rhinestones, crystals, um, gems, um, pearls, uh, caviar beads, those little fruit slices, all those things are in here. These are all gems and decor, I suppose you want to call it. So everything decorative um, is in here in these little containers. Um, I don't know what else to call it. Just everything decorative that goes in here. All the decorative little pieces. Blingy bling. 
leaves and yeah, what else you would call it fruit slices um, yeah uh, everything to make the nails so pretty I guess at the end stones um, yeah so I don't, without like getting too involved in that that is what that is that is uh, your nail centerpiece I guess okay have the next drawer um, same concept over here except this is stickers and vinyls <laughs> if the book doesn't give it away okay so everything stickers and vinyls is in this book um, easy for the client to see and choose vinyls so that's that do not think I'm going to take this box out because it's just tips so everything tips that I use on a regular basis um, also um, poly gel tips and stuff like that so these are just your regular tips um, that you would use on a regular basis so I won't take those out sorry there's a mozzie flying around here evil creature okay and then at the very bottom here I've got um, glow-in-the-dark um, acrylics are in there um, I have everything for stamping that I keep in this bag um, let me put it here then I can open it for you so everything that is used in stamping stays over here okay so I've got my um, stamping gels in here um, my jelly stampers and my scrapers are in here and then obviously you've got these little books that um, keep your um, stamping plates over here um, of different sizes I do have some rather large um, stamping plates that I don't have um, albums for so they just uh, stay in packets for now to keep them scratch free um, yeah and then different sizes little albums for the different stamping plates stamping plates and then obviously the round ones are in here okay so that is everything related to stamping okay and then in the other box it's like a time capsule of art um, all the different arts I've done over time kind of goes in here so it's got pieces of newspaper uh, silken fiber um, these acrylic molds that you, you use to make your own little acrylic um, art pieces um, it's got feathers it's got um, pigments um, unicorn mermaid mirror pigments um, dried flowers um, all those wonderful art things in it straws um, striping tape um, it's just everything you can think of that is uh, tinsel foils I don't know everything related to some kind of nail art that's been done at some stage or another goes in that box so that is some kind of nail art box okay moving on okay um, this is the table next to me um, that's probably the most used thing I've got my lazy Susan over here and um, all my liquids that I use um, stay on the top here so um, you'll see that I have quite a few different monomers but that's because I use a few different systems um, so I've got various monomers here for all the different nail systems that I use um, isopropyl alcohols brush cleaners gel wipes um, uh, acetone acetone free polish removers and so on and then I've just got my little um, rolling thing over here to clean my 
jelly stampers, moisturizers. Um, and then at the bottom here, I've got um, all my e-file bits. And then I've got um, my little um, tool to make um, French nail tips. Um, these gem holders. Um, this is my uh, name tag for my salon. Um, I've got some, oh, that funny nail drill to add the little dangly bits to your nails. Um, some toothpicks, earbuds, um, some dusting brushes, and my little handheld LED light. And then I've got this, I love things that are vintage, and um, I use this as a dusting brush. So this is my little um, vintage duster brush. Um, it's really cute, and um, I just love it to bits. So, and then yeah, I've got this little vintage, um, it's a perfume bottle, but um, I use it for um, cuticle oil, um, which I only really apply myself, by the way. Um, I don't use it for clients, um, but I just love the vintage look of it. So that's my vintage nail duster brush and my little vintage cuticle oil dispenser. And then I've just got my cell phone holder. Um, these are my glasses otherwise I'd be blind as a bat um, and then my um, art brushes um, sculpting forms are over there in various sizes lengths shapes whatever um, my hand reflexology chart is over there my clock this just says uh, nails by Carly over there um, I've got some little cute um, lights over there and then these are my gels. Uh, back on the table again, I've got um, all my cotton swabs, my latex gloves up, just put in the jar like that. Um, cotton balls and lint free wipes over there. I've got some tissues over there. And over here I've got um, everything that is kind of um, art related so I've got a wax pencil um, I've got cleanup brushes and various art pencils in here um, okay and then I've got my dotting tools um, all my silicone tools um, my ombre tools um, my um, what do you call these um, very thin yeah those basically art brushes um, yeah I can't think of the name. Menopause brain. Okay. Uh, crystal katanas. Yeah. Basically all my art tools that are in there. Okay. Then moving into the... Sorry. This mozzie really got to me. Okay. Top drawer. I've got um, some uh, fans at the back um, to dry uh, nail polish. And I've got some... Um, disposable masks and some black nitrile gloves and um, pre-folded um, paper towels um, I fold them this way they last longer if I do it this way for some reason and um, then I've got my uh, tip cutters and some more duster brushes and these little um, things that you apply um, false lashes with I think um, the, but these are coming awesome to um, cleaner on the edges of nails if you have to um, and then I've got my by the way these are all sterilized um, and put over here so they're ready for use um, cuticle cutters nail clippers um, tweezers uh, Russian scissors um, cuticle pushes um, yeah everything that you can think of using during a service um, all my brushes, acrylic brushes, um, gel brushes, um, poly gel tools, that kind of thing are here. And then those which are awesome to use to hold your little jars when you, when you don't need to, them to be slipping around all over the place. Okay, and then in here I've got my ready to use new 
um, files and buffers and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then I've got all my primers, um, cuticle removers, bonders, uh, nail preps, um, top coats, base coats, um, matte top coats, that kind of thing that goes over there. Um, and my cuticle oils are in here. Uh, I've got my different acrylic powders over here. So also, like I said, I've got a lot of monomers. I've got all the different powder systems over there. Um, okay, and then at the bottom here, I've got um, gel stuff. So I've got my dappen dishes over here. Then these are those um, jelly gels that I made with the glass paint and the hard gel. Um, so different colors of those that I made. Um, and then I've got my um, cat's eye gels. Um, these are the marble liquids. I've got some spider gels. Um, sculpting gels, building gels, and um, hard gels over there. Um, these files don't touch any human beings. They are only used on um, practice hands and practice nails. So those are just practice, practicing items that stay at the bottom over there. Um, I've got my poly gels over there, and then these are just um, extra sponges for my ombre tools. And some I think these are the bits that come with your e-files when you buy them. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and then these that you soak off, soaking cups for your um, acrylic brushes and such. Okay, and then on my desk I have um, tiles um, because they are, I do have a glass top desk but I keep it covered with um, a tablecloth because I just, I love the look of a tablecloth. And then I cover it also with a towel because I like to be able to um, use a towel to wipe um, things with. It's just convenient. But then I also like the convenience of having a tile to work on because this is um, an awesome palette um, for gels and polishes and acrylics and so on. So it makes an awesome art palette. Um, it's easy to clean. Um, it's just really great. Um, to work on so I have tiles here to work on um, and then I have um, a dust I have two dust extractor fans um, this one's like a quite a nice one it's double-sided um, it's also got a light over here I have a lot of light in my salon um, because I just need a lot of light to work with um, so I have that light that's on this extractor fan um, I also have my very first extractor fan over there which um, it's kind of broken and you can't light on its side anymore but um, I do switch it on when I'm working um, and it also extracts quite a lot of dust that's sort of blowing around in the air and everything so um, I use both when I'm working um, I have two LED lamps on one on either side of um, the client which just makes it more convenient um, this is my kind of vintagey <laughs> current um, polymer monomer um, dappen dishes that I'm using. Um, this container, I've got various ways of holding my brushes when I'm doing art. So I have um, that one, which you can obviously put your brush down, or that one, or I have that one. So this I normally find I put my nail um, tips into, so I I generally don't tend to put my brush in there. I usually end up standing it in there. It's just really convenient for me. Um, yeah, but I have various ways of putting my brushes if I need to lay them down as opposed to lying them flat on the tiles. Um, so yeah, and then I've got my e-file over here, um, which is uh, 30,000 RPMs. Um, I've had this for a really long time. Um, it's been knocked off this table um i don't know who knocked it off because it wasn't me and i only noticed that somebody had knocked it off because the little light that shines when you're using it was out and i was shaking it you could hear it shaking around inside there 
and this little holder thing was broken. So somebody knocked it off, didn't tell me, and just put it back on the table as it was. <laughs> um, but and I freaks out. Um. Okay, guys, we've reached the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed the tour of the salon. I have tried numerous, numerous times to shorten these videos. I have filmed them a couple of times and tried to shorten them, and I just can't do it. Um, unfortunately, these salon tours are pretty long. I've watched a couple myself um, because I love watching them. And, um, well, they just are quite lengthy if you're going to go into the drawers. And um, I haven't even pointed out where I got everything from. So if you're interested in knowing where I got anything from in the salon, um, you can pop me a message in the comments down below and I will get back to you if I can honestly remember where I got everything from. To be honest, I've gathered everything over an extended amount of time. Um, but if um, you're interested, I will um, try to remember exactly where I got it from and I can tell you um, what information I do remember. So um, if you've stuck around till the very end, I thank you wholeheartedly. And um, if you're interested in following any of the upcoming tutorial uh, nail art tutorial videos that I have coming up in the near future, please will you keep, please will you click on the subscribe button. I don't know how to say all of these things. So click on the bell, subscribe, do all those wonderful things. And um, yeah, join me on my channel in the near future. Um, I am hoping to start posting a lot more videos um, soon. And um, yeah, uh, do all those wonderful things to become a part of my community. I have a very tiny community, so help me grow it <laughs> if you're interested. Um, I'd love you to be a part of it. And um, thanks guys for watching and um, I'll see you all next time. Take care. God bless. Bye. Cheers.